from, welcome from Hungary where we have the Huawei P8 Lite in the picture. After the P8 was announced one week later, Huawei also told us that there will be a little bit of a cheaper version, a 249 US dollar um, device with a little bit of um, lesser specs because you only have a 5 inch HD display, not a 5.2 inch full HD display. The cameras are equally good with 5 megapixels and, and uh, 30 megapixels in the back. Of course, not sticking out, still a slim design, but we have you know plastic, not metal here in the device. We have micro USB on the bottom, a headset uh, or headphone and a um, dual speaker uh, here on the bottom. Of course, on top we have the headset um, connector and the microphone. And again, on the front, here a few sensors, different colors will be available. And we have all kinds of ports that make it superior, for example, to the iPhone and Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge that we will compare to also in a second. So you can see here we have the uh, micro SD card slot, SIM card slot, uh, on and off switch and volume rocker. And on the other side, there is, of course, nothing as usual here in this LTE 4G smartphone. So let's check out those cameras. Um, after we turn it on, you will see that it's a quite fast device because we have actually two gigs of RAM inside 16 gigs of um, Intel memory and also we have, as I said again, an HD display with um Android Lollipop 5.0 running, but of course in the foreground we have um, the 3.1 Emotion UI by Huawei. So the screen is quite good, it's quite bright in here and you can still see here everything and you can see it's also quite quick here with the, the Kirin uh, 620 processor that's developed by um, Huawei. And let's just try here the camera which is on the front, as I said, 5 megapixels, has a beautiful, a goofy um, camera, so you can actually um, shoot wide-angle pictures here with uh, multiple um, people, especially if you um, uh, um, reach your hand out. So this is looking really um, quite good here on the Huawei P8 Lite. And if you just put it back and turn the camera around, you can see that we have here a little bit of a scenery, and you can also see this is starting quite quickly, and you can shoot um, pictures really fast here with the Huawei SN P8 Lite. Also, when the device is turned off, if you press and the button down twice, it will shoot a picture in 1.3 seconds. That's a feature that they added in the P7 last year, and it's really uh, quite nice to just really press the um, uh, down button double, and even if it's locked, you can directly shoot a picture. So that's also um, always a quite nice feature that other phones, for example, don't have. So as I said, I will compare it with um, some other phones, like, for example, um, the Apple iPhone 6, which is uh, equally in size, but of course the price is triple the price with 250 against 700, and you can't even expand the Intel memory. And also in thickness, you can see that they are also quite similar and the ports and everything else. Yeah, you could also compare them in processor quality, but we won't compare the cameras and everything because that would be, of course, not really fair. Um, but they are equally or yeah, close to the same. Again, with the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge or just the S6, you can see that also here in terms of size, 5.2 inches versus 5 inches, they are about the same. And also in thickness and battery size, um, the Huawei is a little bit smaller with 2200 milliamps, but otherwise, and the Samsung is really also again triple or quadruple the price here of the Huawei, and that's really um, quite nice little deal with the P8 Lite. But compared to, for example, the Huawei S and P8, you can see that there is, uh, when you just look at it from the front, not much of a difference. But we will uh, shoot a separate comparison video about in that in our YouTube channel. So definitely check it out. Thank you much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Baraj, and thank you much for watching.